Hundreds of people demonstrate outside the Nigerian parliament in Abuja. They say they want to stop the so-called anti-social media bill becoming law. If it does, Nigerians could face two years in prison and a $10,000 fine for making what the government considers false statements about government officials and public institutions on social media. Citizens would have to produce a court affidavit along with their petitions saying they're telling the truth. Aisha Yasufu is against the proposed law. She's been critical of the government's response to the kidnapping of more than 200 girls by Boko Haram last year, who have still not been rescued. It is not a bill that is in the interest of the people. It is a bill that is in the interest of maybe probably a few of the senators. Social media, it's a tool that citizens have been able to be used for their voices to be heard. Senator Bala Na'ala is behind the proposed new law. He says millions of dollars in public money is being wasted by the government investigating false and frivolous accusations by citizens on social media. We want to curtail that situation and say, okay, fine, if you believe in what you are doing, you have asked the Senate to give you Freedom of Information Bill, which entitles you to look for whatever facts you want from any government office. And if you have those facts, we have not seen any wisdom in allowing you to continue to write petition based on falsehood. There are tons of lies in the social media against public officers. Yes, we, need to, we need to get more people to... Most social media users, the like these young people in Abuja who run a social media club called Fix Nigeria, feel the new law is designed to Being stop flat, citizens yeah, from exposing mouth, yeah. government corruption yeah, and yeah, mismanagement. They've started an online campaign using the hashtag no to social media bill to fight the proposed legislation. The law in itself has the potential to violate so many human rights that the Nigerian constitution protects, that Nigeria has signed up to at the regional and international levels. Those against the proposed new law also say it would be impossible for the Nigerian government to enforce it. Before the frivolous petitions and prohibition bill, as it's called, can become law, it will have to be approved by members of Nigeria's House of Representatives and then sent to the president. If he doesn't approve it, senators say it can still become law. But given the controversy it's generated, many civil society groups say it's unlikely to pass in its current form. Ivondege Al Jazeera, Abuja.